happening right now. Not the bad stuff. We have enough of that on the media. And with me on the call, three amazing experts from Spain, Germany, and Switzerland. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Women power today again. So let's start by introducing yourselves. Let's start with uh, my, to my, uh, this is my right, this is my left, to my left, Cornelia Berta. Can you tell us a little bit about where you're from and what is it that you do, please? Yes, uh, hello. Together, I live in Zurich now. I came here from Munich and I came to Munich from Romania, where I was born. Um, I'm originally a doctor, a dentist, um, uh, and uh, yes, I do since 10 years personal development and leadership, teaching this in different companies and at the economic school in Zurich. Okay, at the economic school in Zurich. Yeah, I have it set. I don't know how should I feel virtual. I don't know how to translate it in English. Ah, okay, okay. So you're teaching economics at the school in uh, uh, leadership in this school, yeah, leadership. Leadership at the economic school in Zurich. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how is the school running now? Right now, you know, don't have any any uh, students in the class, right? Well, I'm an external uh, external lecturer just for the next generation leadership. It's our program, but my colleagues are doing everything online now. So everything switched very quickly ah. to online lectures. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Welcome, Cornelia. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for invitation. Thank you. Then we have Daniela uh, Diana Bianco from Spain, or Blanco, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I could be half Italian after you said that. So yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, my name is Diana Blanco. I'm from Spain, and I'm a life and business coach and mentor, and I do two things. One, I work <clears> for <throat> third party, people that buy online uh, marketing courses, and they're online marketers, and I help them implement them to either start their businesses or scale them so they can get really good results after they finish. And on my private practice, I help uh, very well-established business owners that are really, really great performers, but they have paid a really high price for getting to where they are, which unfortunately is burned out. So what I do is help them stop slow down, ground themselves, and we get together to put together strategies so they can still achieve and um, allow themselves to get the results, the financial results that they were getting, also by balancing their lives so they can actually have a healthy and balanced life and business, loving their businesses and loving their lives. So that's what I do, and I think there's no better time right now than to really stop, slow down, we said, as a, one of your beautiful guests mentioned a couple of days ago, I think, and uh, I think the whole nature is resetting and us as human beings, a human race, we're doing the same and redefining ourselves. So I think it's a time for opportunity. Yeah, 100%. Yes. Yeah. So you two, you, you are doing two things that are really in high demand right now. Yep. Online marketing, because I see more and more coaches, consultants, and everybody wants to move online now, of course, because we can't meet physically anymore on my market on one side and on the other side you help people to slow down and take a breath and rejuvenate <laughs> yeah you wow. know yourself, high achievers they find it very difficult at times so this is an imposed setup an imposed uh, environment for everybody to adjust so we're all learning here yeah 100%. you must be in really really high demand right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm quite happy yes okay <laughs> And last but not least, we have Katarina Labudovka. Labudova. Labudova, sorry. Mm -hmm. Can you tell okay. us where you're from also and what you do, please? Yeah, sure. So my name is Katarina Labudova and I'm CFO, Chief Family Officer for almost last five years. And I still didn't went crazy about it. I'm still here. And I'm helping mothers as uh, you are helping to level up your life and to get healthy, a healthy and happier relationship with your children. And I'm originally from Slovakia, but living in Frankfurt in Germany. So thank you for the invitation. I'm happy to be here with you. You're very welcome. And you're going to share something with us today that is really a, a, big, a big thing right now, it's, which is homeschooling. And what do you do with your kids when they're home? <laughs> sharing some strategies all those helpful uh, all those parents out there that are in desperate need of some help yeah exactly very good all right let's get started so i want to welcome a couple of guests so hello anya bloro 
somehow I can't see all the comments. And who else? <coughs> Tiffany. Okay. All right. So let's um, start with Cornelia. What would you like to share with us today, Cornelia? Well, first, I want to share maybe a story. Uh, and then I will, stay, I will share a five-step process, which I was thinking for my clients, because leadership, it's a very important thing, but it starts all with self-leadership. So we are all the own leaders of our life, as you may know. Um, the interesting thing is what I discovered in this, uh, in this time is the simplicity of life. And I just want to give it as a first impulse, because I just was in love to how simple life can be when you don't need to run and to rush and to do a lot of things. And I discovered it because I, I, I live here in Viticon, very close to the forest, and I cannot do much. I stay home doing my online business and for sure teaching my, my clients and dealing with them, but I can take a walk in the forest and I can hear the birds and I can hear what you said, the rejuvenation of the nature. So that's just wonderful how little we need in order to be happy and that is my first thing I want to give today for everybody hearing you can really be happy and you can choose to be happy even when it's tough time yeah it's a very good point I think so too it feels almost like we're reverting back to the more natural things and the more the more simple things in life yes except for being online of course <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's, that's thank true you. thank you yes You're yes welcome. Uh, I can see that too. When you when you look outside, you see a lot of parents and fathers with their kids. So for us, we have we're living on a hill, and there's father <clears throat> flying kites all the time because it's a little windy, and that's something you don't see very often. And now you see it all the time everywhere. Yeah, so that's that's a good point. Very good. Thank you for sharing this. So, what strategy have you brought brought today? Five steps. I'm curious. Yes. I've brought the five steps because I'm a lecturer, so I need to structure always my, uh, my knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and the first, the five steps I would invite the people that are struggling a little bit with crisis would be to focus on their health because they can uh -huh. eat very good and regenerate in this time and just take care of themselves. The second step would be to take back your power because, as you say, the focus... Um, of, of the, where we, we share our focus and our attention will grow. So don't, don't focus just on the negativity, just decide where you want to put your attention and your energy. And that is taking back your power. The third one would be, and maybe it's not mentioned very much time, how you deal with your finances and how you deal with the situation of maybe breaking down some income and having a lot of expenses. And the first step, it's uh, focus on your relationships, bring your back in balance, the relationship with yourself, and try to give support <clears throat> when somebody needs. And the five step, it's on time management. So focus your time on things that you love to grow and use this time to grow yourself or your business or relationships, whatever you want. That are the five steps. Wow, it's very holistic. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes, you're welcome. And what I loved was a relationship with yourself. Yeah, because a That's lot of true. people are wanting more time, and they're like, uh, "I don't have time to take care of myself." Now we have time to take care of ourselves. Exactly. That's true. Very good. Thank you very much, Cornelia. What about you, Diana? You wanted to share some something that was going on in your business right now. Okay. <clears throat> I want to thank Cornelia because that was such a great step-by-step -step process. I really liked it. So. Um, in my case, what I've noticed is that, yes, now time is not an excuse to actually slow down and to uh, reflect and uh, to connect. I mean, um, I'm impressed at how much in terms of opportunity we have now to connect, not only at a business level, also at a personal level. In Spain, we applaud at 8 p.m. every single day to give thanks to all the people that are out there keeping us safe. And it's amazing that... The people that I've never said hello before because they were neighbors that I've never seen are now just that. And it's creating such a powerful community. It's amazing. And we can do the same with our clients. Be there for them. Just give with an open hand because that's leading. Giving is leading as well, right? So that's what I'm doing, connecting with people, finding out what they need. And that their, their response, it's amazing. So 
what I've noticed and what they getting uh, <clears throat> feedback for me, people that are really high achievers that are like, go, 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 go. Right now, finding out this confinement, it's like, whoa, what do I do now with my time? So it's about helping them structure. And uh, everyone that's uh, transferred from offline to online might know that your space usually is your house. And how do you set boundaries? for that not to be all the time working until like 11 p.m. So I would suggest for people to create a very structured day in terms of boundaries, set up time for business, set up time for leisure, connection, and everything else. And um, I, I believe that what we have to do is uh, instead of uh, fighting, because you, I love the, the title of this uh, episode, uh, where you focus on expands, so what you <coughs> receive and grow stronger. So, if we don't accept what was happening, we're going to be resisting and it's going to be even worse in terms of our health and our focus in our businesses and so on. So um, I really would suggest people to get structure and to accept the situation. And we have to learn that is nature actually giving us a lesson. So if we fight less at uh, the nature, nature is always going to win. So. <laughs> right? So it's time for us to reset, connect. It's an opportunity as well. So that is my little grand fan. So if it helps, I hope so. Little nugget from Spain. Thank you very much, which is a big nugget. I, lo I love what you said that leading is giving. And also that we have to kind of like, when we slow down like this, what happens? Yeah, same, same with me, neighbor. I have not talked to in weeks. I was spending 10 minutes this morning to talk to her. And it, it's amazing what amazing people we have surrounding us. So thank you very much for this. Thank you. Yes. Really a time to slow down. And high achievers out there, just kind of like pay attention. Because resistance is an interesting thing. When you're resisting the situation and you're kind of like, ah, oh, this is terrible and all that stuff, you're giving it energy. And the more energy you're giving it, the bigger it grows. The bigger it grows in your head. Yeah. Then it turns into a, a constant loop that is always going on in your in your head. Oh, my business. What's What about this? What about that? What about this? And another amazing thing I want to share is, is uh, the help that we get. I mean, Swiss government is helping a lot. I don't know about other countries. I'm sure they all have a, a kind of help packages for <laughs> entrepreneurs and for because they want they don't want us to go down. They want to help and support us. And this is the first time ever that I feel this. So before it was always like, yeah, I pay a lot of taxes and I pay taxes <laughs> there. <laughs> security there and a big portion of my income is going uh, towards the government, but now the government is giving back. And uh, I think that's, that's also good to see. What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts. I'm you amazed as well. Yes. I'm amazed as well. I'll let the other one speak because I just took a little bit of chunk of a time there. So. <laughs> All right, Katarina. So we're really um, eager to hear what you have to say about how to deal with the kids at home. <laughs> <laughs> happy, to, happy to tell you something from my strategy. Like how many of you are already regretting something when you say it and you just regret and you are not happy that you've said it? <laughs> Thank you. And this is exactly the most important thing. It's just to use this time to reconnect or to connect with our family and not have high expectation because all of us, we are kind of forced to be together because we are on the same boat. It's not being about that uh, children want to be home. They want to be at school with uh, with the friends and and uh, uh, parents want to go to work or enjoy the time or whatever, do the business. So that's why there is like high potential for, for a violence or being not you want to be, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important just like a bandage, like a first aid. It's just to when you want to say something you might regret, just take a deep breath or take a count to 10 or think about your... Think about your fingers or whatever, like try to uh, change the state you are in. And then this is already the first bandage because you will not, uh, you will not uh, do something which, is, which you might uh, regret. 
Mm-hmm. That, that is the first thing with easiest. But the very important is how you start your day. It's like you, yesterday you were already talking about it. So it's exactly like even if you are with your kids, just try to do Miracle Morning or have your routine and try to integrate because this is the time we can really integrate our kids to our daily life. We are not entertainers. Mm -hmm. It is like most of the time we think we need to entertain them. And I'm five years already home with my kids. So I know that we have like just normal days, you know, we don't need to go to zoo or whatever, or try to find uh, entertainment. So we are really parents and they even need to bo- uh, be bored in, because then this is so important. They are creative, like from the boredomness, the creativity come kick in. So it's okay and it's okay to be bored or to not to not put them too much on their plate or be stressed stress about it. Mm-hmm. And and then this is the but put them like all destruction away, right? I'm not talking like uh, put them to watch the TV all the day. That's why the most important thing, it's the easiest way is to go to the forest, go to the nature. And there is nothing, nothing more, no destruction at all. And you will see how the day is for all of you. It's really like, this is what I discover every single day mm-hmm. with my kids. And if you couldn't go out, just ask them what they want. Because this is exactly, don't, be, don't try to be a teacher or a preacher or a politicist. Try mm-hmm. to connect and reconnect with the, with the kids. They have such amazing ideas. I'm just trying to post like on my Facebook what you can do. I ask my children what they want to play. And the, the games they invented, I would never dream about. And I just, oh, nice. it, it's really, it's like nothing. Yeah. It's uh, from nothing. We are even doing uh, like campfire at home without <laughs> a fire, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and they are so invent. They invent everything, really. So I think this is exactly like yeah. try to connect with kids. We can, we, can, we can learn a lot from kids, yes. Yes. 100%. Their fantasy and creativity is uh, way beyond what we can do. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. You, you told us three things. Let me rephrase. So first of all, you said think before you speak. Take a pause because we're all cooped up together sometimes a long time and this can cause some friction. Yes. Secondly, um, keep up your morning rituals, even if you're, you know, with the kids and everything, or include them in your morning rituals, which is a, a rare opportunity. When do we ever get to do this? You know, the, the uh, it's it's really it's amazing. At beginning, don't give up. Beginning, all beginnings, whatever whatever <laughs> we are gonna start, are hard, right? And it was yeah. hard to me, but now my kids are doing like twenty minutes yoga with me. Wow, amazing! <laughs> and and they are five and five and two and a half. So Whoa, nice. I would love to see that. Hey, why don't you make a video and put it on Facebook and uh, <laughs> I need to yeah, I need to think about it. Yeah, do that. Do that. <laughs> this would be an inspiration. Amazing. All right, and number three, reconnect with the kids in their fantasy and creativity and ask them what is it that you want to do or how have them co create uh the day. It's not like you have you have to be the entertainer the whole day for the kids. Exactly. And then even you get the time for you, you know, if you, and exactly be present when you play with them, play with them, don't message or I'm, I'm not always like that. I need to, it's like, but I see when I'm really concentrating on them and playing like 10 minutes, then I have even sometimes one hour only for me. Right. No one can work. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. One of my other students, uh, they, she also works with kids, and we talked about um, could you put one of the kids in charge for the day, for example. So if you have kids that maybe the two and a half year old, not so much, but <laughs> yeah. if they're a little older, ask them to step up and take ownership and and think of something creative to do and uh, how yeah. to support the other siblings or and 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 switch in between because that's uh, that's i think an opportunity for the kids too to see oh we're in a special situation and i can help yeah exactly definitely they are creative and happy to happy to he- uh, to help right they are cooperative it's yes. like really they are awesome yes very good all right wow we have a powerful living group today we have some self leadership strategies we have some support strategies we have some kids strategies Amazing. Structure your day and uh, look on the bright side. There's actually a song for that. Do you know the Monty Python song? 
<laughs> Are you ladies okay for doing something crazy at the yes. end? I just thought oh, about yes. it. <laughs> I can I can but let's let's look at the right side of it, right? Monty Python the the Pi, Monty Python uh, theme. So uh, let me type it in the in the chat. Always look on the bright side. All right. Oh, you do. Ba, 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 ba. Let's do that three times and I'm going to turn it off, okay? Okay. <laughs> I cannot see the chat, but I'm I will just sing it, with you. Typing, typing it in the chat. So I'm typing it in the host chat so you don't forget the lyrics. Very complicated. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, always look on the bright side. Yeah. All right. All right, we're gonna do it three times. All right, and we're gonna go ho ho. Yes. Ho ho ho, ho, ho in between. Is that okay? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> you guys are amazing. You know, <laughs> not many people will be doing this live online. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Always, always look on the bright side. Always look on the bright side. Oh, 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 Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Always, Always look on, on the, the bright, bright side, side of life. Of life. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on the bright side of life. life. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look on the bright side of life. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We're great entertainers, not so much as singers. Awesome. But that is just not, it's not just entertainment because that is really increasing the immunity. Love oh, yoga. Absolutely. Actually, one of my strategies oh, in terms like of health, it's love yoga because it's really strengthening your immunity. That's yeah. true. It's not just entertainment. It's also self-care and self-empowerment. It's the laugh therapy. Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>